Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. Today's video is another LG Wing video. Uh, some people wanted more videos on this phone and as updates come for this phone or findings or things like that, I will continue making videos. Right now, I don't believe there is a way to root the device still. LG does not allow for bootloader unlocking through their website, which means we are going to need other methods. But other methods may have been found. So I was digging around and learned about the tool LG tool, LG up tool. So LG up tool is basically a flashing program used uh, at LG's factories or, or at storefronts um, to flash firmware to LG devices or to do IMEI writing or things like that. Uh, on some older devices, it can actually erase uh, Google FRP. I want to go through what LG Up does. I want to show you guys how to uh, fully flash a device because I need to reflash mine anyway. Um, I kind of messed it up. And we're going to also go through and uh, I'll explain what each function of LG Up is that I know of um, from just my research online. Some of the functions in LG Up, I still don't know what they do, but I can at least explain some of them. And I realized I forgot to add one to my list. Give me one moment so I can add it so I don't forget. All right, we're good. Now, word of warning right up front. Do not leave your LG device turned on in download mode for longer than you need to to do the flashing. Don't put it in download mode and let it sit while a download finishes. Get everything ready to go before putting the phone in download mode. These phones are going to suffer from uh, LCD burn it. Ask me how I know. I uh, let the phone sit for far too long and now if you hold it at just the correct angle you can see the download screen at any part of the phone because it burned it into the LCD. Congratulations, I made my phone worth far less. So anyway, we're going to get started with LG Up. I'm going to show you how to download it, how to install it, and then how to run it. So first of all, um, I have a thread in the LG Wing section on forum.xdadevelopers.com. You go to this link, it'll take you to the thread that has a download link to Google Drive because I wanted to give proper credits and link to the person who actually uploaded it. From there, you just download the executable from Google Drive. I have already done, so I don't need to do that. I'm also going to be editing my post to put a lot more detail and this video into the post. But I have my downloads. No, I don't. I had my downloads. Where's my downloads? I'm going to show you how to install it. So, first of all, right click run as admin. It's a very safe installer. Don't worry about it. It is a custom installer. But don't worry about it. So, for me, it doesn't say install because, duh, I've used it already. Um, I'm going to go modify and just, you want to install everything. So, you know, just install it, run it. It's completely safe. Don't worry about it. It's pre-patched. It's completely fine. Run through the uh, driver installer so you have the correct, most up-to-date drivers to work with your device. Very simple, very easy to go through the installer. And then once the installer is done, you can actually open up the software and it'll give you all the options you should have. Uh, as if you were a developer at LG's factory, it'll give you all access to the device. Some things do not work. So something that would be very useful to work on this would be the dump. Dump function lets you dump all the partitions of the phone as a backup. This way you would be able to dump things like stock firmware from a working phone and then use the partition DL to uh, flash those specific partitions. Dump doesn't work because the bootloader is not unlocked. But I'll go over more of that in a moment once we have the software opened up. And come on, it won't take several minutes. Don't lie to me like that. Okay, it might take several minutes. It's not going to lie. I'm going to pause this. Give me one sec. All right, it's done installing. So click finish, and then you just want to run the tool. So you can simply just go to your start menu and go LG up. Click that. And, oh, 
you do have to have the device turned on and in download mode for the software to initially start so it can find it. Now with that, I'm actually going to start it from the installer directory because actually a better idea. So LG up is right here. And then as you can see, here's the exe. To get your phone into the download mode, hold volume up and volume down and just plug in the USB. From there, it should boot straight to the download mode. Actually, it might be just volume down. One thing I haven't figured out with this device yet is for some odd reason, I cannot get to recovery. Anyway, we're going to... It's volume down and power, I think. Oh god, I should figure this out. Okay, I was right. It You have to have it from turned on. You want to turn it off. And start holding volume up as the device turns off. And then it will eventually just reboot itself into download. From what I see here. There it goes. So now I'm in download mode. Now one step that I forgot actually. Is you want to run these two fixers. What you need to do is go fixer, run as administrator, hit start. It will uh, replace that file. Now what you don't, you don't need to, you can start it here. You want to start it at least once like it says here. Hit space to continue now that it's running. It edits the file. And then you can close this. Now the other one, you can you run this next. It's space to start. It edits a bunch of other stuff. It's space, and you're good. From there, you just run it as admin. As you can see, we have all of these functions here. I don't know what board DL does. I don't know what FAC update does. Don't know what DFT does either. But all the rest of this, I know what it does. From uh, what else you're going to need is your firmware file. So you're going to want to go find the KDZ file. I'm going to flash the proper one to my device because I don't have the proper one on it right now. Um, phone stuff. Where's phone specific? I don't even remember which the right one is. Wing, demo convert, this one. So... This is the Korean firmware. You can supposedly flash the T-Mobile or Verizon firmware after doing the demo removal and it will function like a normal phone. Fingerprint reader still has not been found on how to make that work. And I'm gonna run this firmware because I know it works with Wi-Fi and everything because right now on my device, Wi-Fi doesn't work. So as you can see, there's refurbish, which you will lose all data, but that completely refurbishes it back to factory settings, which is probably the one that I should run right now. There's also upgrade, which upgrade keeps data and updates the phone. You can select, up, select upgrade to flash a KDZ firmware file to unbrick or restore the phone back to stock. Chip erase um, is dangerous. You want to be very careful with it because you can turn your device into a brick if it stops like halfway through for one reason or another. This will actually erase IMEI and the EFS partition. Uh, you do not want to try this if you do not have some form of a backup of your phone. You can use Chip Erase to downgrade firmware, though. So that's another thing that's very useful about Chip Erase. Uh, you can also remove some FRP locks on some older LG devices that are running Android 5, 6, some 7. Um, partition DL is exactly like it sounds. You can flash a single partition or a selected partition to your phone. This feature can solve unknown model issues. It can solve IMEI issues. It can solve Wi-Fi issues. Um, you, it can solve a ton of issues. This feature can also be used to bypass FRP on some specific TOT uh, formatted firmware. Dump is a very useful one that we can unfortunately not use on this phone yet. Dump allows you to dump all partitions to back up the phone, um, dump the stock firmware from a working phone, and uh, back it up so you can use it with partition DL later. Uh, photo upgrade, this can be used to flash an OTA update file that comes with the .up file extension instead of using a KDZ. And PDM over here, this can be uh, used to change IMEI, the uh, Wi-Fi address, Bluetooth, MAC address, 
You can also do things like the NT code. Um, NT code, I will show you here. Uh, I forget who made this list, but um, oh well. So NT codes, they look like this. And if you actually have a demo device and convert it uh, over to a different firmware, these will not line up and you'll actually have a uh, incorrect um, NT code. So for example, a lot of these devices are T-Mobile. So you would want to use this one as your NT code and then flash it to whatever. But there are others. There's like Amazon US. There's OpenCA. USC US is usually unlocked as well. Um, there's a whole bunch of different ones in here. But as far as the functions of LG Up, those are the only ones that I know what they do. So I'm going to try to get Wi-Fi to work on my device by doing refurbish. And we're going to just hit start. It should start initializing. It'll uh, prepare for the download and actually extract the files itself. Um, there is a way to extract KDZ firmware. As you can see um, here, I've been messing with it a lot. So here's the firmware extract. As you can see, I have this, uh, these firmware files extracted, and then I have all of these image bin files. These are not normal files, and I have yet to figure out how to convert them over to like boot.img or uh, whatever, you know, whatever they're supposed to be. If you actually watch the steps on LG Up, you will see things like boot.img. You will see things like... Uh, um, you will see other uh, partitions like system.img and things like that. But I do not know how to actually get those partitions or uh, image files yet. And also, these things are even really kind of weird to open. They don't really do anything. They only have this one file inside them. Um, if you try to do it with uh, like 7-zip, but you can also use this tool called Windows LG Firmware Extract, where you go open. I'll select the firmware from here. And as you can see, it does have these three files in it. And you can actually extract those files specifically. Or you can do a DZ file, which is one of these. And it'll actually tell you all these files that are in it. And you can even merge like system bin and stuff like that. This was made for like the LG G3 and stuff like that, but it also works here. I might try making my own tool, but at the moment it's just a little out of my reach. There are some other communities that have made their own custom KDZ files, which I would love to figure out how to do for this device because that means custom ROM support in a sense but I have yet to fully look into it because frankly, I'm a dad. I don't have time. <laughs> I'm amazed I have time tonight to make this because my girlfriend is normally home with the kids, but I'd like to get my phone working. So I figured since she's not home, I get to make a video for you guys. Anyway, I'm going to actually pause the recording while this finishes its uh, download and I'll come back to you when it is complete. And I will let you know I had success in restoring my Wi-Fi. So unfortunately, the refurbish function did not work to fix my Wi-Fi issue. So I think I'm going to have to actually go PDM in order or chip erase in order to actually manually set a Wi-Fi address and hope that uh, I can restore my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to restart the. Uh, I'm going to restart the process. And hope that Chip Erase works. When I use Chip Erase, um, it removes my IMEI completely, though, and I cannot use this on a cellular network. So I hate using Chip Erase personally. But we're going to try it with the same firmware because Wi Fi worked on this firmware in the past. So. Anyway, I might make one more video about uh, using PDM to uh, program the different parts of the phone. But until root is found or running custom ROMs on this device is figured out, I don't know if there will be any more videos about this device for right now. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this helps some people out with demo devices that are out there. 
if you have any demo devices that you would rather uh, just sell and you are in the United States and we can figure out some cheap shipping, um, I'm willing to pay about 150 bucks per LG Wing demo device, which I know is a little bit lower than eBay, but I'd like to have a good large sample size myself, uh, 120 to 150, maybe 100 to 150, depending on condition. Some of these things are in terrible condition, so be very careful buying them on eBay. I got really lucky that I didn't have one with scratches and stuff all over it. I have seen some nightmare devices come to people that have just been buying them off eBay. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you later, and uh, peace out.